Hello everyone. Welcome to Magic Score Maestro 8. In this video, we will discuss the mouse input of notes, while using as an example the theme song from Game of Thrones. First, switch to mouse input mode. For this, you can either press the hotkey W or click the input mode button. Choose the note value at the panel notes. Near the mouse cursor, you can now see the current value. To add a note in the desired place in the score, just click there. To change the value of a note, use the mouse scroll wheel or press the hotkey of the corresponding value. You can also easily enter notes in different staves without switching them. Just move the cursor to the right place. To enter a slur, press the slur button in the panel notes or use the hotkey Y. A slur symbol will be attached to the cursor. Then just click the start note of the slur and drag the cursor to the final note of the slur. Then, change the slur position with respect to the stave. Click the arrow near the button slur and add it to our score. Press the natural button or the hotkey R to attach the natural sign to the cursor and click on the note where you need it to be set. Use the same method to add a note with a dot. Press the dot button in the panel notes. Now you can see that a dot appeared near the note attached to the cursor. Adding a tie is very similar to adding a slur. You can use the hotkey L. We can add a triplet in the same way by using the triplet button in the notes panel. After pressing this button, a triplet sign will automatically be placed above the note. Add accents by pressing the corresponding buttons in the notes panel and use the mouse cursor to attach them to the desired notes. The flat sign is added in the same way as the natural sign. To use it, you either click in advance the button you need and then enter a note, or add it to a note in two clicks. First, click the button flat in the notes panel. Then when the flat sign is attached to the mouse cursor, click on the desired note. Notice that the dashed line indicates the target symbol of the sign. Now we can finalize the layout. Zoom in for a better view and switch to the panel symbols. First, add the dynamic symbols. Click on a sign and add it at the desired place in the score. The dashed line indicates the starting note of the symbol. At the end of the score, we will add the end of composition line. Click the button End of Composition and move the cursor to the desired measure.
This sign will automatically be applied to all the staves of your score. Have a look at the score. Now you can enjoy the results of your work. Let's listen. Achieve more with Magic Score Maestro 8. Goodbye.